Hey YouTube, Anthony here again, here in my office 56. Um, I made a video and I lost it again. That happened in the last video, this happened on this one. So I made, I talked for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and um, I, I should have known better. My phone had 6% power on it and it just died. So, what's been going on? Um, <coughs> it, I can't believe it's been six days since the last video. Feels like it's been like two days. But um, I guess things have changed a little bit since the past video. Um, <coughs> I'm still studying for the New York State Life Insurance exam. Uh, you know, I've been studying for it over the past month or so. And I plan to uh, take the exam. But um, the tests that I've been taking, the practice tests, it, you, you're supposed to study, you're supposed to uh, get a 70 or above, and I've been getting like 66, 67, 68. Um, so I need to be scoring better in order to sit for the exam. So I'm going to allow myself more time to do that studying. Um, but in the meantime, um, if you guys don't know, about in January, apparently, is what they told me, um, January of 2019, um, BNY Mellon had a third party risk uh, initiative going on and they were hiring a lot of people and they contacted me and, and I was excited about it and um, it was at the time when I was working with Goldman Sachs too. If you recall I had my interview at Goldman Sachs and they canned the, the, the position so I lost out on that. But uh, back then I was also talking to BNY Mellon. Fast forward to just about a week ago, a couple, couple days ago, since my last video, I had applied to uh, BNY Mellon again because I said I haven't stopped applying. to a, It was a third-party risk job, and but actually it was at a director level, so it's quite a high-level job, a higher level. Um, and to my surprise, they contacted me, and um, I was able to get to a second-round interview and um, spoke to uh, the, the person who I'd be reporting to, and I had about a half, half hour, 45 minute interview with her, and um, it went really well, and that was just a couple days ago. So I'd already talked to them, their human resources department, had my phone screen, um, had my first round interview, and then they told me maybe next week or the week after, they would be doing on-site interviews and would fly me down to uh, New York City because the job, again, is in New York City, so I'd have to relocate to, uh, I was looking at like Stamford, Connecticut area, or um, not New Haven, Connecticut, but um, Stamford, Connecticut, um, Greenwich, Connecticut. Um, there's also New Jersey, but my wife has a thing where she doesn't want to live in New Jersey for some reason, so I guess New Jersey's out, but there are a lot of homes in New Jersey as well. Commutable distance to, uh, the job is right in lower Manhattan. Um, right where the World Trade Tower is. Um, and again, it's with BNY Mellon. So, um, oh, and the bonus on this job is that the pay is one hundred fifty to $200,000. So it pays even more than I was making before by a good percentage because I was making a base of one fifteen and a total of one forty. So if I can make a base of one fifty to 200 plus bonuses, it could be 250 it could be a lot. Um, enough to have my ass in the office every day because she said it's not work from home. And I just said, okay, well, you know, that's fine with me. So, so that's what's going on, guys. I have this, uh, I guess it would be a third round interview with BNY Mellon if that comes through. I'll let you guys know how that goes because um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's a, a job right up my alley in third party risk management. And, um, they're also uh, interested in my audit experience as well. So, um, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and um, talk to you next time. Talk to you after a uh, talk to BMI Melon. Thanks, guys. Bye.